Several months ago, I reviewed a four ounce sample bag of uh, pay dirt from Klondike Clinkers, and it came out to uh, a return on investment of 80%, which is pretty good. So I decided to give one of their larger bags a chance. So I ordered this. It is a one pound Liberty bag, which is supposed to contain between 1.39 and 2.09 grams of gold. When I got it, I was very pleasantly surprised to find that a uh, another of the sample four ounce sample packages had been been included with the order. I don't know if this is standard or if I got lucky or what, but what I will do is I'm going to do both of these separate so that we can see how much gold came out of this, how much gold came out of this, and we'll combine the two to see what the total is. This is $25 by itself, so that's a pretty nice little bonus. Let's uh, get out the scale and see how much uh, pay dirt is really in here. And here we go. There's a little dust. In fact, there's quite a bit of dust. But I am seeing one pound, 12 and a half ounces. That's almost twice what was advertised. So it's always nice to get more than what you pay for. Next, let's do the classification and see how it looks. And here's how the classification looks. There's enough black sand in these smaller meshes to warrant magnetic separation if you want to make things as easy as possible. Let's go on to the hand picking and see what we find. Even though I only picked through the plus 20 mesh material, you can see I found a lot of gold. And this is nice gold. This isn't uh, paper thin flakes, but nice chunky stuff. This is a grain of rice for size comparison. I found two in the plus 4 mesh, seven in the uh, plus 10, and probably over 100 in the plus 20. Uh, there was so much plus 30 material, I decided not to go through the hand picking. But uh, just out of curiosity, let's see how much this guy weighs. Point three six nine grams, and that's just one piece. So this is looking good. Let's fire up the Miller table and see how much more we can find. And here's what I recovered. Four more in the 20 mesh, well over 100 in the 30, about the same in the 40. Oh, and by the way, I reclassified the, uh, the pay dirt uh, down to the finer scales, just out of curiosity. Here are the 50s, the 60s, only four in the 70s. I got two in the 80s, one in the 90, nothing in the 100, and three in the minus 100 mesh. Uh, if these numbers look ridiculously small, as it turns out, once I classified down below 90, there was just thimblefuls of material here. So uh, just a few colors is not surprising considering how little material was there. So let's dry it out, add it to the hand picking material and get it on the scale. Let's see how we did. Two point one four six grams. That's actually a little better than the highest estimate uh, the uh, the advertisement promised. So I'm very happy with this. Let's crank some numbers and see what the return on investment is. And I almost forgot. Here's the gold from the extra sample pack I got with this order. Point. 332 grams. That'll add up to the total. Let's see what we got.
For reviews of 50 other paydirts, I'll hope you visit the Backyard Gold Prospecting section of my main website at waynesthisandthat.com. Thanks for watching.